A few days ago, someone apparently entered Dreamcatcher's company building without permission and then posted about it. I'm not gonna show the photos, but it's just him in various places throughout the building. He said he went there to take pictures of the outside, but since the front door happened to be propped open, he decided to take a peek. No one was at the lobby and all he heard was a vacuum cleaner near the dance practice rooms. He went in, took some photos, and then left. Well, the company found out about this saying someone entered our offices without authorization during the time it was being cleaned, which would explain why he heard vacuum noises. They explained that this is considered trespassing and he did not have consent to take pictures or film, which could be met with strong legal consequences. While a lot of people are concerned about Dreamcatcher's safety, many fans are also worried about NCT's potential health and condition, who are literally scheduled for activities, promotions, and tours every month for the rest of the year. We've only hit the halfway point. NCT will of course be releasing a full unit album, and then have the NCT Nation concerts that were just announced. People are especially worried for Heichan and Mark, who have been recently dealing with their own own health issues, with the latter actually responding to fans' concerns, first joking, wait, what's rest, but then tried to reassure fans, saying he feels good about this album and can't wait for the reactions. The concerns probably come from all the breaks and hiatuses we've seen recently, with even more in the past couple days. After Giselle missed Espa's Knowing Bros recording, SM confirmed that due to her ongoing health issues, Giselle will also have to miss the group's appearance at the prestigious Governor's Ball in New York, which I'm actually headed to right after this video. Stray Kids IN had to miss MK countdown after showing symptoms of a cold, and Very Very's Young Sung will be taking a break from his group activities to recover after visiting the hospital due to back pains. Now, a lot of veteran groups especially are doing big anniversary reunions, like Infinite for their 13th anniversary. Of course, SHINee have been doing a lot of stuff leading up to their 15th. However, SM has announced that after experiencing health issues and receiving medical examinations, it was decided that Onu will not be able to participate in their upcoming concert or album activities. Onu wrote a letter to fans apologizing that he can't be there for their anniversary, but promises to come back happier and healthier, which is the most important thing. But someone who's returning very soon from his hiatus is Lucas. After SM announced that Lucas would be leaving NCT and Wavy to debut as a solo artist, it was revealed that he would now be opening his own personal bubble account, to which he directly greeted fans for the first time in almost two years, thanking those who have been waiting for him and how happy he is to interact with them again. We also got an update from GD himself after all the headlines this week. In the last video, we talked about the speculation that GD had left YG Entertainment because his name was missing from the label's official roster of artists and actors for 2023. YG initially responded to this saying G-Dragon is the only Big Bang member to remain with YG and that his name was omitted due to an error in their system. Well, right after I uploaded the last video talking about that, media outlets started reporting that actually GD's contract is already expired. So these reports started blowing up, causing YG to upload a follow-up statement confirming that GD's contract has indeed expired, but they're currently discussing various options options with him moving forward, even including partial contracts for different activities. GD did put out a video earlier this year saying he'll soon return with various activities, including a new album, and yesterday teased on Instagram that he was in the studio with Producer24, who notably works at the Black Label. Whatever he decides to do, even start his own company, I'm just glad we're getting new music. But until then, we got a bunch of new music since the last video. TNX did not disappoint with their new song, Following Love or Die, which again, I really, really liked. I'm actually waiting to watch P1 Harmony once I'm on the plane. Right after uploading this video, my expectations are so high after back down. We also have Alexa finally back, and of course BTS's Take 2 already celebrating their 10th anniversary. Continuing with the positive news we can celebrate, we don't talk about every music show win besides first career wins or first solo trophies, but AB6's win for their new song Loser is quite a significant one for them, as this is their first music show number one in almost three years. The last last being in July of 2020. The Stray Kids milestones just keep coming as they now have the best first week selling album of all time. And only the second one to sell over 4 million copies in that amount of time along with 17. And you know Gaji Hyo is about to set some records herself as it has now been confirmed that she will be blessing us with her solo debut this August. Finally, despite the current chaos and lawsuits, somehow it has been confirmed that EXO will make a great group comeback. Not only will the CBX members still be involved, even Kai's voice will be heard in the album. Alright, I gotta go to New York, hopefully the air is better, and hopefully I get to see Espa for longer than one of Ning Ning's live streams. 